Hi, Jeff Desart with Energy Smart Homes. Uh, today we're at a house in Fort Mill, uh, South Carolina. We're up in the attic this morning, and uh, it's uh, late March. And a uh, few things that we found here in this attic, and uh, I'll show you an attic door that we just finished building. But um, one thing I wanted to show you is this condensation pan for this uh, <coughs> air handling unit and AC unit that's up here. You can see how badly the pan's full of rust right here and if you can see if it's not too dark right here is where the most of the rust is coming from there's some over here you can also if you can see on this pipe mold has begun to grow right there on the pipe and down there as well and there's some up here on the unit as well I'm not gonna take this uh, panel off right here but if I did you'd see a very rusted out uh, AC coil. We uh, took it off the other day. And this is very simple. This is a maintenance issue. Uh, the condensation line right here, this condensation line had uh, become blocked up and it was, and the condensation that was created from the coil wasn't draining properly and uh, it was backing up into the unit. Water all in the unit. Water all in the pan and uh, it's rusted out the coil. They're going to have to replace the coil rusted out the pan, they're going to have to replace the pan. Like I said, just a simple maintenance issue. So something to be aware of, to always uh, be checking your air handling unit and the uh, condensation coil. And uh, make sure, you know, this is this would be easy to see, very easy to, to recognize. This unit actually was under maintenance with a, with a company. So you can never be too careful. You think someone's taking care of something and, and now they have to uh, spend uh, quite a bit of money getting this fixed because of one condensate line that got blocked up. Now over here is a attic door. This is Michael Guthaser, our director director of energy services, and uh, they had a uninsulated, unsealed attic door. It was very leaky, and it was uh, you know the rest of this attic was insulated to R36, and it's an area that's completely uninsulated. Um, so we've built a box that's uh, R30. Uh, insulated and it's got a very tight seal on it. Um, you see here we got four plies of two inch uh, foam board for the door and uh, we got our air seal around the top so it seals tight and uh, I'm going to help pass this over to Michael. He's going to show you how this thing works. It's a very uh, tight fit in this attic. Very hard to get this door in and out. That's the one thing because the air handling unit over here and these rafters over here. So you do have to kind of work it into place, but you can see it the way it fits. That bottom piece fits into there, and then you use those handles once you get down in there, pull it down, snug it tight onto the uh, onto the uh, weather stripping. So well insulated, well sealed. You can see we've hit all the joints with the uh, with the foam. So air sealed and well insulated. Uh, that's all we're reporting from up here today. Thank you.